eighty dollars for this? Actually, um, it's a hundred and five. Do you want to pay now? Do you want us to bill you later? This is an outrage. This place is a scam. They're trying to steal our money. Sir, sir, calm down. Give me that. Here, and take this. This is a prescription for the generic version of this medication. It's a lot cheaper. Okay? Thank you, doctor. Um, actually, it's a nurse practitioner, honey. But have a good day. <laughs> Whatever, honey. Oh, hello again, Mr. Jones. And what do we have this week? I have cancer. Really? What makes you think you have cancer? My hair has fallen out. I feel lumps in my stomach. And I keep hearing the voice of David Letterman. Mr. Jones, you're old. Your hair should be falling out. And the lumps in your stomach, those are your organs. Yeah? And what about the voices? Miss Smarty Mouth. Uh, uh, Mr. Jones, do you only hear Letterman's voice when you're trying to sleep? Y yes, that's right. How did you know? Is it only late at night? Why, yes. Try telling your neighbors to turn down the volume on their television set. That might help. Oh, man, how do you deal with these patients without, ugh. You know, I tried that once. It's just too much paperwork. So now I just do yoga. Hmm. So that's why you're so zen? I thought you were just hitting the pill room since the inventory guy quit. Nah. I just practice patience with patience. You need help. I know, right? be my mother. It's, oh, it's Frank. Honey, I think it's your turn to deal with him. What kind of minister leaves the room when a neighbor stops by? If you cough loudly, I'll yell that I need help with something. Yep. Hi, Robin. Hi, Frank. Now's not a really good time. I'm cooking dinner and I'm expecting my mother over. I completely understand. I'll come right in. So, uh, anyways, I just thought I'd tell you guys that I probably won't be able to hang out this weekend. Trust me, you guys don't want to catch what I go. <laughs> uh, hey. Honey, could you come in here, please? Um, so let me get this straight. You stopped by our house to tell us in person that you shouldn't be around us because you might get us sick? I know. Don't thank me. <laughs> uh, Robin, I really need your help with this uh, toilet. So, uh, any ideas about how to get rid of this thing? I'm coughing along here. <laughs> I don't know what, chicken noodle soup, tea? Maybe sleeping in your bed in your house? <laughs> uh, honey, uh, it's really backing up in here. Um. Yeah, Frank, my mother's on her way, and I'm, you know, I need to take care of my husband and the yeah, kids, so come back to Listen, me. Robin, I, I thought you were some kind of nurse or something, and maybe you could give me something. Frank, here's a Z-Pack. Take one a day until they're all gone. Frank, don't tell anybody where you got those from, okay? Okay. Thanks for the drugs, Robin. Mom, where are you? We've been... Oh, hi, Mrs. Goodman. If you're looking for my mom, she hasn't made it here. Uh, I'll be right there. My mom had a stroke. Okay, so... I know you guys might have heard that your grandma had a mild stroke. 
What's a stroke? Well, a stroke is when blood can't get to some part of the brain, and it kind of causes that part of the brain to start to die. But you said grandma's was mild, so then... So hers wasn't that bad? Fortunately, no. Now, she's going to be here today, and your mom wanted me to talk to you about what to do if you think someone might be having a stroke. You see, there's a doctor in the house. Unless you're outside. No, dummy. You call 911. No. You know what? Yes. That too. But we're told to act fast. F-A-S-T. The F is for face. Look to see if one side of the face starts to droop. A is for arms. Ask the person to raise both arms. And if one of them starts to lower, that could be a sign that they're having a stroke. The S is for speech. If the person's speech is slurred, well, that's another sign. T is for time. So if you think grandma's having a stroke, find an adult right away. So when's the quiz on all this stuff? There's a quiz? Yeah, hey, everybody, right. we're here. Well, what are y'all gawking at? Come get grandma's badge, you two. Thank you, honey. Uh, Mom, Patrick and I have been talking, and we really think you should move in with us. Mm -hmm. Right, Patrick? Oh, it tastes like gym socks. Mm. Oh. Mom, I'm serious. Well, I guess I can move in. I suppose I get to see my grandchildren and my daughter every day. What's in it for me? Mom, we just don't think you should be at home alone anymore. Well, if I consider this for one minute, I have to be able to come and go as I please. Absolutely. I get my own car to drive. Surely. Something has to be done about Patrick's coffee. It tastes like dog poo. And finally, someone has to give me my daily massage. My chiropractor said it helps with my blood flow. Now, who wants to volunteer? I got it. I got it. I got it. Ah, faithful parishioner stopping by for some advice from its minister, I see. Actually, I'm here to see Robin. Whatever. Robin? Hector. Good morning, Hector. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you could give me some health information and, and maybe some free drugs. Excuse me? I slipped the disc. The pain is so bad now that I cannot sleep or work. Why do you think that I can help you, Hector? And better yet, who told you that I'm offering free medical advice and free drugs? I swear, it wasn't Frank. Look, I'm sorry, I really can't help you, OK? Please. My life has been at a standstill ever since I hurt my back. Please help me. OK, listen. I'll think about it, and I'll call you tomorrow. Wait. Wait. You have got to be kidding me. 